Hello and welcome back fellow tankers and today we are watching uh, my clanmate Pele Chukas uh, playing in Object uh, 257 it's going to be an awesome game he's playing with the stock turret and uh, I believe uh, stock gun and uh, probably stock engine of this tank so this is gonna be awesome i've even delayed my yak tiger video for for tomorrow you are going to see that video tomorrow where I get an ace tanker on my Yak Tiger, tier 9 uh, German TD. And uh, this is uh, a tier 9 Russian heavy tank which uh, has replaced uh, T10 in the IS-7 line. This is uh, one troll of a tank, uh, the armor is uh, quite trollish. Especially when I'm playing against uh, this tank and uh, I'm not uh, usually that good against this tank. I'm not usually that good when I'm playing in this tank. And I'm not as lucky as Pelechukas in this game. Well, anyways, he has let uh, the tier 10 through uh, to soak up some damage if... Uh, there are any guns uh, behind the corner and it appears there weren't now Pelejukas tries to go and uh, get some first damage on type 4 but he's too late so now he's thinking about shooting the IS-7 I guess uh, the problem on this tank is the gun depression as in every other Russian heavy tank so he carefully aims and he doesn't pen. Oh well. Can he do something else here? And he gets splashed by VRT, so the crew is stunned. I uh, would relocate in our hero's uh, place. And I think he hears me and relocates. Uh, since he's got nothing to do on that side and our team is already losing by three tanks and uh, I guess uh, the scout will take care of our tier 8 medium tank. So we have to defend the back side or we will be annihilated by the incoming force from behind. So our hero moves towards our base and uh, I wonder how many tanks are on the hunt for the um, like um, backside action and there's quite many so our hero hits the AMX 120 may he hit him one more time Oh, this guy has one mark on his barrel, so he's uh, probably played at least 100 games in that uh, tank. So he should be quite knowledgeable. And we get pent into the lower plate. We try to clutch shoot into the scout, but we miss. So we have to fall back again. Finally, our teammates realize that we have to defend the backside as well. So, at least we've got some support. <laughs> and what a risky shot, but it pays off. Uh, if you haven't noticed, Village of his has shot uh, just in between the Emil's uh, turret and uh, the hull. It was close to hitting the ally. 
and the centurion gives uh, our hero the second kill now there's the lonely Skoda tier 9 Skoda who's back in the way and he's just fired two shots I guess it was his uh, third shot from the clip so Pelagiukas has about 20 seconds to take care um, of that Skoda and uh, he rushes a shot because uh, after 20 seconds Vachkoda will give back uh, about 1000 damage in 3 shots in rapid succession but uh, finally Pelagiukas keeps hitting the poor Skoda and the Skoda tries to bravely run away even not looking back into Pelagiukas and he's uh, too slow to do that so while we were doing all of this fighting uh, the teams have uh, leveled up a bit we still have three heavy tanks including ours and uh, the enemies have uh, five tanks uh, two of them are very dangerous tier 10 tanks and the other three are tier 8 tanks so let's see how the game unfolds so Pelagiukas rushes in to help his allies and one of our allies dies so there's that uh, Emil who was helping us and now we bravely run into Posh B who actually pens us so what a <laughs> huge shot by Pelagiukas into the roof of that uh, Posh B now he jumps on Posh B and does some ramming damage. One more shot, and how lucky that Posh B can be. He is on 107 HP. Can Pelagiukas get another shot on him? And he shoots the Coppola for that uh, last damage. He's got four kills. Uh, sadly, our Emil dies. So we are alone against three enemies, one RT, one uh, tier 8 TD who can basically two shot us. Let's wait for the rockets to go through. And there's the tier 8 scout who can also ring rounds around us, uh, run rings around one. Uh, Tier 8 TD who can basically two shot us. Let's wait for the rockets to go through. So, oh, there's that uh, scout appeared. He's on one shot territory, but we get hit by the RT and tracked. The tracks repair automatically quite uh, quickly. So I guess Pelagiukas is carrying that uh, repair module, or uh, he's got a really nice group of repairs. We get hit by BRT again and we are basically on one shot for BRT and for the prototype and two shots for the enemy bulldog. So Pelagiukas is backing away uh, using his reverse speed uh, just uh, because he wants to avoid the RT shot and uh, rightly so. Scout scouts us again, and we are still backing off. And again, there's a dead tank uh, carcass in our way, so we have to maneuver around it. But uh, Pelagiukas manages to drive carefully around it. And what the hell happened?
Okay, somehow the replay has... Okay, so <laughs> that Bulldog just gives himself on a silver platter to our hero. Sorry for that uh, stop in the video. Let's hope I won't have to redo this again. And now Village of is uh, going towards our own cap. But he notices the prototype is running on full wind, trying to catch us. So. Pelagicus decides that he can outrun maybe the tier 8 uh, TD who is who should be rather slow. We get some speed uh, downhill so we are okay and the RT gives uh, itself on the silver platter as well thanks. It's now 1v1 so much easier. I guess Pelagicus is thinking about capping. Will he do that? And he spots the prototyping coming. So he is still driving forwards. can't see him around this corner so he's probably going on full sail for our tank so what can Pelagicus do he's on 217 HP and the prototype is full <laughs> and what a clutch shot, clutch shot uh, by Pelagicus he's really lucky this game he's already hit probably two or three of those uh, lucky shots and the prototype bounces so we hit him again may we get one more sh shot on him and he's probably shooting uh, itchy shells because he isn't able to pen us and now Pelagicus loads AG shot for the last 20 HP of the prototype. He bounces us twice and rightfully so goes to the garage. So thanks for the game Pelagicus. It was a pleasure to watch and a pleasure to commentate. And the stats for this game will be provided by the replay site. And our hero has got an ace tanker, hand of god, uh, bruiser, duelist, fire for effect, shell proof, uh, steel wall, high caliber, and top gun. He's killed 7 tanks, uh, he's done almost 5000 damage, he's bounced almost 2000 damage, and he's wrecked 5 uh, modules. And he's even spotted one enemy, that Lorraine, who gave himself uh, to our hero. So he was the only tank remaining on the battlefield and he uh, got about 300 experience more than the second guy on our team, the Emil 2, who bravely supported us. And uh, our hero has done about 1000 more than anyone else on damage. He's uh, fired 22 shots, he's had 17 and 16 of those 17 have done damage. He's made 20 and a half thousand profit on credits without a premium and he would have got 43 and a half with a premium. So I hope you liked this replay and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, uh, please subscribe if you want to see some more awesome replays. And uh, if you liked this replay, just uh, mash that like button. If you didn't, put that uh, thumbs down button and uh, 
if you've got something to say, I will read it in the comments. And uh, if you've got some awesome replay, replays of your own, you can send them to me via email. That would be warbot.replays at gmail.com. And thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.